This is a 40 gallon aquarium and the stand was painted by my son. Um, we are raising fancy guppies and this is a Amazon Swordtail and it's produced all these other plants. We are raising at the moment we threw in some uh, very tiny tadpoles. Very tiny. I threw in uh, boiled lettuce for the tadpoles to eat, but the fish are having eating most of it before they even get a chance. I've also heard you can throw in uh, boiled egg that uh, the tadpoles will eat that, but I recommend anybody reading up on it before you actually try this. Here you can see the fish eating at the salad bar of the boiled lettuce before the poor little tadpoles have a chance. Uh, the tadpoles were also feasting on a dead fish, so they from the aquarium, so they'll actually eat meat. I didn't I did not know that. To raise tadpoles, you have to keep an eye on them because once they start growing their little legs and arms, you're gonna have to move them out of there. This one has the back legs on it. When they get the front legs, we get them out of here because this is way too deep. They drown. We put them in another aquarium. Fancy guppies are a ton to, ton to have because um, they're so pretty. They're so easy to take care of. They breed like crazy. We feed their offspring to our newts. We have pet newts and frogs. They like to eat them. Uh, you also have to watch out because here's the filter intake and it sucked up quite a few of our real tiny baby tadpoles. Most of them they went through unharmed though. Okay, this is where we put the tadpoles. Right, as they're turning into frogs. These are the smallest frogs I've ever had, and they are only about a fourth of an inch big. Here's our little tiny frogs. They're only about uh, slightly more than a quarter of an inch. Here's my finger for comparison. So they are very tiny. up uh, a rock and on the underside are some very tiny little bugs. These little tiny, I don't know what their species called, I call them rock fleas. This is what I feed to my little tiny frogs. These are t really, really tiny. Smaller than an ant. And they're just the right size for these guys to eat. Okay, I get them off the rock with a brush. The brush is just soft enough not to kill them or squish them but knock them into the bowl. Okay, that's a big pill bug. That's too big for them to eat. It's almost as big as the, f the frogs themselves. But the little bugs, there's some baby pill bugs and that little rock fleas, the little tiny insects, whatever they are. Look at the bugs on top of bugs. Anyway, these are just the right size. The little tiny ones are just the right size for the froggies to eat. And it's very easy found. Just picking up three rocks, I found plenty of little bugs for them. It's feeding time for the little froggies. I've collected a bunch of little tiny insects from underneath the rocks. These are very small, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or smaller. Shouldn't have put the ant in. The ant can hurt them. That little bug zapped him right up with that long tongue of his. 
It's just a reminder for just how small these creatures are. There's my finger for scale. Boys are watching the froggies eat. Look at the little tiny froggy. It's so cute. Well, look, look, he's trying to eat that one. You watch it. I can see it from here. Yeah, I can. He's tracking that whale bug. Where? He was. Little hey, cute. Are they hopping on? Are they hopping? It's going to be weird. That thing is just. Oh, he got it! He got it! No, oh, no, didn't no. get in his mouth though. It might be too big. He's going after the kid. He's on a mission. Oh, missed it. Oh, the other one tried. See how they're shooting it with their tongues? He's a leg. Might be just too big for him. Could we put some more moss in here? Yeah, it's kind of boring. Very. It's just an emergent island. That is, they come out in big tables. I don't have much land developed for them right now. It's just enough to raise them on the first few days. Okay, I'll make a froggy condominium. How are you going to make that? Oh, oh, that one caught one. You guys watching? <laughs> it's a 40 gallon aquarium and it is half water and half land. Well, two thirds land. And this was made with a kit where they have uh, a water creek and I put in gravel and moss. This is currently home to a crab, two firebelly uh, toads, and we have a sleeping tree. I think our cricket frog is under here now. I'm going to lift this up to reveal where they are. Yep. They're firebelly. Frogs, they come out every once in a while. They don't always hide in their cave. But when our little frogs get bigger, we can put them in here. Right now, they would just be food for these guys, so we have to let them get bigger. Eventually, the uh, the tadpoles are going to turn into a frog about this size. If I have the correct, this is a cricket frog, and it's very small, and he's also very fast. He is only about it less than an inch and a half. Is you have to have a good water supply, you have to have food supply, you can catch your own bugs by putting a funnel underneath a garage light at night. All kinds of bugs will fill it, will uh, be attracted by the light and fall in. That way you don't have to buy crickets at the, at the pet store all the time. And you never ever want to give uh, frogs, amphibians, reptiles fireflies because they are deadly, deadly toxic to these animals. This aquarium is shared with the 10 gallon aquarium of uh, fancy, fancy guppies and two newts. Here's our tree frog and he is a little bit bloated on crickets. He is really a nice little guy. We caught him in the wild and he can change colors like a chameleon. He, uh, he turned brown or green, and his patterns can be, uh, he's kind of sleepy, we just woke him up. He's usually very nocturnal, but he is extremely precise. He's noticed that he has suction pads instead of uh, webbed toes. So tree frogs are great climbers and great jumpers, very precise. Those tadpoles will not turn into this type, I don't think. I, I could be wrong, they could even be toads. At that scale of only a quarter of an inch, it's too hard to tell that species right now of the tadpoles.